Hi everyone, welcome back to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to be teaching you a very easy and delicious dessert to make, perfect for Thanksgiving or for any kind of holiday entertaining. I'm going to teach you how to make my apple strudel in a braid form. This recipe makes two and you're going to be really happy that you did make an extra one. Now we're going to go over the ingredients and we're going to get started. I have five apples here, three Granny Smith and two Fuji. You can use any apples that you like. A little bit of sugar for the garnish, some egg wash as well for the garnish, some cornstarch, a little bit of salt, some raisins, ground cinnamon, granulated sugar, light brown sugar, and a little bit of butter. So this is a really simple apple filling recipe. I use it to make my apple phyllo strudel and I'll link that in the card section up above. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to saute the apples and a little bit of sugar and cinnamon and the filling is going to be ready just like that. Now I don't own an apple quarter, so I'm going to do it the old fashioned way using my knife. I peeled the apples, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the core. Then I'm just going to slice these apples an eighth to a quarter of an inch in thickness and then we're just going to saute them and we're going to have an apple filling ready in no time. Now this apple filling, once it's done, you can make a double batch, of course, of this apple filling and just keep it in a glass jar in the refrigerator so that way you can use it on top of oatmeal or even on top of ice cream or to have it handy to make a strudel if uh, you want to make one in a hurry. But we're going to go ahead and slice these and then we're going to move on to the next step. So my apples are finely sliced. This is the thickness that you're going for. Let me just show you. Anything in between these two thicknesses will do. You don't have to be so precise. We're going to begin by melting our butter over medium heat. So this is unsalted butter and we're just going to melt it. So while that's melting, I'm just going to combine uh, the sugar, both granulated and light brown sugar with the cinnamon and cornstarch three heaping teaspoons of cornstarch because that is going to be what's going to thicken this really beautifully. I'm just going to mix this all up in the bowl. So once the butter melts, we're going to add the apples in along with the sugar and cornstarch mixture with a little bit of salt. So we're going to cook this mixture until the apples release the juices and the juices begin to thicken. So once the juices begin to thicken, then all you want to do is turn the heat off, add the raisins in. We're going to remove it from the heat and allow it to cool completely. You want to make sure that your apple filling completely cools so it doesn't melt the, puff, the butter that's in the puff pastry. I have two sheets of puff pastry that I've rolled out to 12 by 15 inches and I know that my cutting board is 12 by 15 inches so I just use that as a guide so I didn't have to pull out any measuring tape or anything like that. Now we're going to create the braid. So the way to do that is very simple. First I'm going to cut two little slits on the top and on the bottom. That's going to hold the filling in place. And then I'm going to cut long slits, the same number on one side that I'm going to do on the other side that are going to be folded to make the braid. Then I'm going to take half of the filling and I'm just going to put it down the center. Now I used raisins in this but you can use cranberries or you can totally leave them out. You can also put some walnuts or chopped pecans if you wanted to. You can use any citrus. You can do lemon zest or orange zest or clementine zest, whatever you have. All of that is going to add more flavor. Now we're just going to take the top flaps that we cut out and these are going to hold the filling in place and keep it from falling out. We're going to overlap these strips of um, 
puff pastry, creating this beautiful braid pattern. And we're gonna keep going until it's all ready. Take this end part and just tuck it in like that. And you want to do this on top of a parchment paper because it's going to be so much easier to transfer it back onto your tray. Or you could leave, it, leave the parchment paper in the tray and do the whole thing on the tray. That's fine too. I'm going to do the same thing with the second one and then we're going to move on to the next step. So this recipe makes two braids. So if you're having anywhere between 8 to 12 guests over, Two are going to be exactly the amount that you need, trust me on this, but if you're not and, you're only, um, and you only need one, the other one you could wrap it in parchment paper and then in aluminum foil and store it in your, in your freezer. And then right before you're ready to bake it, you want to brush it with egg wash, sprinkle it with some granulated sugar, and then bake it at 400 degrees for 25 minutes, about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's beautifully golden on top. My oven is preheated. I'm going to pop it in there. I'm going to start warming some uh, water for tea and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's ready. So in just 25 minutes, this flaky, beautiful apple strudel is ready. Just take a look at it. It looks like you've been working on it for hours, but in reality, we know the secret. We don't have to tell anyone. So you want to let it cool a little bit so that way it's easy to slice. Now you can uh, serve this with nice uh, homemade vanilla whipped cream or with some ice cream or just with some nice hot coffee or tea. I'm going to cut this end piece right here just so I could so show you how pretty it is on the inside. The apples are perfectly cooked. They're not mushy or anything like that. They're not too firm. They're just the way they should be. The, app, the puff pastry is really beautiful and flaky and it has a really nice thick sauce that the juices have created and then you're going to get a little extra uh, sweetness from the raisins or cranberries if you want to put them in there. So the best thing about this is that I have another one in the freezer ready to go anytime I have friends coming over or whenever I just want to bring it to somebody's house. It's a great gift to bring. Um, my mom always says never go to anybody's house empty-handed. So if you do have this in the freezer all you have to do is brush some egg wash and sprinkle some sugar on top of it and just bring it over and everyone will be so so happy with you. The recipe as always will be on the website www.demetriusdishes.com. Let me know what you want to know. Let me know what you want to learn how to make next in the comment section down below. Subscribe and thumbs up if you haven't. If you subscribe just hit that little bell button underneath too so that way you don't miss any um, notifications. As soon as a recipe comes out and a video comes out you're going to get notified in your email so that way you don't miss any recipes because there's a lot more goodness where this came from. Thank you guys for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.